welcome to the LDM show. Another week, another week with me. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is October, so you know it is all about the spooky and the scary uh, month. Last week we were talking about what spirits and uh, real. Some people said no, but ghosts are. We ain't gonna go back to that because I think you're kind of retarded because ghosts and spirits to me are the same. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about treats today. So what you can do for Halloween and little tricks and stuff like that. But, uh, and we also have a, a guest in the studio, Josh, Joshua, right? That's how you go by? Joshua, who's a, a dancer who I met a few years ago. And I said, this little boy can dance. And guess what? Now he's a, like, to me, a professional dancer. So maybe he'll show me a little tricks or two, how to do a little salsa here and there, you know what I'm saying? I can look good in the corner. That's it. Don't look at me because then I don't look good. I, I can't dance with a partner. I don't know why when it comes down to salsa. But give me bachata and merengue, I kill it. But salsa, I don't know. I don't, I'm not no, uh, you know, Tito Fuentes and all these other guys that can dance real good. Or, or, or well, I'm going to go old school, but Ch uh, Ch Chayam, you know what I'm saying? He was a good uh, salsa dancer, right? Uh, I don't know if you know this. The little kid is looking at me like, who? Uh, no, I wasn't born that time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're having a little fun. Uh, real quick in the news, the chump guy is doing the same thing. He's going to Twitter war, but he doesn't understand that by going Twitter war with people, he is boosting them up. So Mr. President Chump, if you hear me, tweet the LDM show. Hey, I would love it. I would love to get all those followers that you're pushing on to people because uh, haters do hate. But, uh, and also, um, there was a couple of shootings which I'm uh, trying to figure out what happened in the Bronx, so that's not here or there. Find out, look at the news. If you want to check out more news, up-to-date news, go to the ldmshow.com slash news. They have sports and everything else there. But, uh, Speaking of sports, wrestling, come on, who's a wrestling fan? Oh my God, AEW is battling right with NXT. So NXT and AEW is the, the war where, we, where I grew up, the Monday Night War. Well, I was watching AEW, which is on TNT, for y'all guys that don't know, TNT had a battle back in those days. I seen a big head of Turner <laughs> in the audience. Somebody had a big uh, head, and it was Turner, who was the owner of TNT back when the Monday Night Wars were out. So it's a funny thing, but watch it. We are coming back with our segment, Wrestling Talk. So we're going to be talking about a lot of the wrestlings. I'm going to have wrestlers on speaking about it and what we think about it. But uh, other than the news, what else is going on? Um, it is cancer uh, month, so next, uh, this week, Sunday? Sunday? Yeah, Sunday is cancer walk. Um, well, I'm going to do more of a cancer stroll, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't walking. I'm going to do like a little stroll here and there. Um, I'm going to be at Orchard Beach. There's got a couple people going to be at uh, Coley Island, so, um, and Central Park. So if you guys are around there, say a shout out, say hello, but I will be probably at Orchard Beach freezing um, I'm not doing the polar bear because I'm not jumping in the waters and stuff like that, but it is for cancer, so uh, shout out to everyone that is walking, and shout out for the people that are walking that never had been affected by cancer, but they still want to walk to a knowledge that uh, it is something else. And there's also Domestic Violence Month, so make sure, as the police say, you see, say, see something, say something. And remember, if you are part of a domestic violence, you're not alone. Uh, that goes for guys and girls. Cause there are some guys that are being abused. It sounds like a comedian uh, action, like I'm going to start my comedy skit, but it's not. But there are guys that are abused as well. So, And then there's also one of our things. It is bully, um, anti-bully month as well. So remember, these are the why our colors have blue, purple, and pink for bully, cancer, and domestic violence, if you check out my logo. Uh, so, but we advocate out of all those three, but I think they should have a separate month, you know? That way we can concentrate on one thing, not all three at the same time, because one of them will lose, you know what I mean? I don't know. If the chump guy is listening, maybe he can help us out, I don't know. But 
And we just had the, for you guys that were working um, on Monday, I'm sorry, but for the ones that got off on the, on the thief day, oh wait, I'm sorry, my, my, my bad, Columbus Day, my bad, my bad, you know, I said thief day, you know, I'm just thinking out of the thing, but uh, <laughs> the, dis the man that discovered uh, America, Whew, I don't know how that worked, but anyway, we have, uh, what's that, Good Friday, I mean, not Good Friday, um, <laughs> Black Friday, <laughs> I call it, Black yeah, it's come, well, I got to name all these stuff that's coming up, which doesn't make no sense. Listen, I'm going to show you how, how to save some money next week, because that Black Friday doesn't really save you no money. I'm going to try to save you some money next week. Yeah, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, listen, all these other names, and this National Day thing needs to stop, because every single day is a national day of something. Tomorrow is my national day of shut the heck up. Because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm serious. Every day is a national day this, national day that. And then do you really need a national day to tell your sons and your daughters that you love them? That didn't make no sense. National pet day. Okay, so during the whole year, you don't care for your pet only that one day? I don't, I, I don't understand the national day thing. You care extra? You care extra? Yes. How extra can you care about a pet? <laughs> because pets, to me, they like, they, people think they, 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 uh, they're their family. It's, it's a truth. Yo, I see, I seen a dog in a coche. I'm sorry, I'm, my Spanish came out. In a, in a, in a stroller. The dog's supposed to walk. That's why the dog was fat in the first place. He's supposed to walk. Get coche. You know what I'm saying? We don't have no strollers when we, I was thinking, I was good about to say, oh, how a cute little boy. When I seen a little doggy, I was like, what the heck? A little stroller for a dog? They have little paws, oh my God. That's an animal lover speaking in the background. I'm an animal lover, don't get me wrong. But, it, 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 you know, hey, we gotta, we gotta, I don't know, there's a limit that, now you're gonna put them in your taxes. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna come back. I wanna start off my interview uh, with Joshua because I wanna, get, I wanna get to see him to start performing as well. So. Uh, to, to do a dance, and then we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that's going on with his life. Um, I say with his life, like, like he's a 30-year-old a guy coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he had a, put it like this, he, he's busy, he's busy, he's about 21 right now, so. <laughs> now, he's a young kid, about uh, 10 years old, right? Yeah, 10 years old, uh, he danced in so, so many places and with so many famous people. Um, so when you get to see him dance and shimmy all around, you're gonna uh, fall in love with him as we did many years ago when we first seen him when he was young, uh, dancing in, in groups. Well, he's still young, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm speaking like he's 37 years old, you know what I'm saying? But when we seen him, he was you know younger, running around, now he's a little taller, mohawk thing going on, shimming all around. So girls going crazy, you know, mom is going crazy, like, no! Not yet, you know what I'm saying? Dad is like, okay, maybe. <laughs> so, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, congratulations to the LDM Network. We're on Twitch as well. Um, so, thank you for that. We have a new show going on Twitch, such as the uh, Wrestling, and a uh, new LGBT talk show that's coming up as well. So, check that out. So we're going to hear a r real quick uh, radio break and uh, listen to some independent uh, artist music. I don't know what is going to pop because we don't have the scream up. We can't have the scream today. It's something going on. But anyway, <laughs> enjoy he's the music. Me, he's guilty of loving me hey, you've been watching the LDM show. Let us know what you think about this episode. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We value your opinion, so please let us know. And let's get right back to the show. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world.
<laughs> that guy's put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, were you expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LDM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to light. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. go to the LDM radio station dot uh, no LDM radio dot com sorry and check out all these songs but um right now I have uh, a 30 year old kid here <laughs> no, we have Joshua here 10 years old um, professional dancer so uh, welcome how are we doing today um, I'm doing really good so and how are you doing today I'm, 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 I'm excellent you know so uh, you're 10 years old and you dance uh, Latin music. Yeah. How did you start it? Like, what made you want to dance? What made me want to dance is that like one day after that I started to do my hip hop practice with um, Steven Reyes. Um, after that, I just like went back so we could watch like the group like afterwards, and I was like, I can't do that. And then after that one day, like actually try like when I actually tried it and stuff because then I practiced it with them. Then after that, I started to find my passion by when I started getting practice in and practice it and starting to get like accustomed with it, and Ooh. I started to like actually feel it and just started to like feel it in my bones and stuff. So that that, that you like, yeah. the salsa dances. Yeah. So that's the only thing you dance besides like I heard you say hip hop. Yeah, what, I what do. Are the I used to dance like I used to dance like a lot. Like I used to dance like contemporary. I used to dance that and ballet and musical theater and cha-cha-cha and bachanga bachanga or bachanga 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 i never heard that what is that it's like the style when they like do like so groovy moves with the, like when they're like doing the salsa stuff and they're like they go this is my car show off too fast. Uh, sorry about the sound because we did yeah. just put a new audio equipment in there so the engineer didn't know, you know. Yeah, I gotta throw you, I gotta, well, it ain't us. There we go. There we go. Yeah. It ain't us, right? So, so let's rewind this page right now, right? Let's <laughs> rewind. Let's rewind this page. So for the people that were listening on the radio station, you just had a freebie then. But for you guys, I have a uh, dancer guru here, the Saisa dancer, uh, ten-year-old Joshua here in the house. So we were just um, we were just speaking. We were just speaking about how you started dancing and everything, and you, you love to dance. But what age was that that you started? What age that I started at? It was like around like six or seven around that time. Around six or seven. Woo! Oh, that. Well, kids dance around that age. I don't know if they call it dancing, but, but like wha whatever they do. <laughs> when I actually started, like when I first started to dance, it was like, no, it was about like five. Five? Okay. So when you started um, Latin dancing? When I started a Latin dance, it was like, far to line, like seven. Like Around six, seven? Six. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. What was the first, uh, do you remember the first song that you ever? Oh, uh, yes, I actually still do. Which one was it? It was by Chiquito Timban, um, Opal. Oh, okay. You went, you went on a little old school right there a little bit. But uh, that's good, though. And, all right, between me and you, who you get your talent from, your dad or your mom? Don't worry about it. Nobody's listening. 
I thought it was a scary movie in the beginning. <laughs> you know, Michael Jackson, shout outs to him, you know, he's he's the, he's the king of pop and would always be, you know. So uh um so now be, besides getting nightmares in this uh <laughs> in this horror <laughs> dancing flick that you've seen, what made you like how graduate because I know there's probably kids who are like, Hey, let's go outside you'd be like, Nah, I gotta perform you know, how did you, how do you fight that? How do you sometimes, balance that? Sometimes, I like, sometimes, like, we, I talk to my friends a lot, like, through, like, in school and stuff, like, when we have, like, breaks. Yeah. And when I, like, when they, like, talk to me a lot, and they'd be, like, oh, I have, like, when they be saying bye to me and stuff, they, they like, know why. Because they sort of know, they have, like, some things about it, but, like, when I told them about today, they were really happy, and they didn't know a lot about, a lot about me when I was, like, doing a lot of things. Oh, well, now they do. Now they're learning a lot of, about you. Which is it's good because I say that a lot because a lot of the kids, they, you said friends, which was good. Because some people say friends, but then you, the guys are trying to get you away from a positive thing. And you continue doing positive, and I want to make sure that I say congratulations and continue doing it. We need more positive kids out there. And, and your parents don't look like they don't play anyway, so they're not going to let you slide, you know. But... There are going to be kids that's going to be like, don't go, do this, come on. So keep it positive, you know? Yeah, all my friends are really, like, really nice and they're positive and they always do positive behavior and they're not, like, bullies. There you go. That, see? Yeah. How many times I tell people you got to have positive circles? Exactly. You know? You got to have that circle. Well, you know, here's a little kid telling you he has that circle, so which is good. And, and he's Latin. Don't speak it, but he's Latin. <laughs> Yeah, so now, what was the most embarrassing moment in your performance, if you ever had one? Well, yeah, actually I did, because like one day that um, I was doing like a heel-toe, heel-toe, and one day um, my tapa came off from the thing. He said tapa. <laughs> he said tapa. He knew a couple of words. <laughs> my heel, and when I did the heel part, um, I started to do the heel, and my heel went like this, and I almost fell, and I just recovered back into the stuff. Oh, you so you just it look, it make, it make it look like it was part of the, the thing? Yeah, but I slipped, so it kind of looked like I almost fell, but I just went like, faked it. Hey, no, nobody fell. probably even realized it. They were like, ah, that was a good move, you know? You could have probably made a trend out of that, you know? Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but there was like a whole team there, so if they were looking at everybody else, and then after that they looked at me, they would have saw me fell. Oh, oh, so you went off sync a little. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which it was good. But uh, your mom maybe will show you how to recover from broken heels, because what wouldn't break a heel <laughs> here and there, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> which would be nice. But uh, okay, so now, how, how do you get prepared to go in front of a stage? Like myself, when I'm going to go in front of a stage and I see you know, all these people looking at me, I start thinking of when I was a child, I start playing with my nails where no one could see and it gets me comfortable. What do you do before you get on that stage? What I actually do is just start to look at the crowd just to make sure that there's enough people to like hype up and they be cheering and then after that I just go right off and just go even more so I can actually see the stuff. Or maybe when it's a little crowd, when they start cheering, it just makes me more comfortable and just starts to go even harder. Oh, so you feed off, you feed off of the, 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 the crowd, yeah. which is good. Um, a lot of people don't read the crowd and that's where the problem is. I have to read the crowd. If the, like, the crowd is boring and I say one or two jokes and they're just looking at me, I'm like, okay, all I hear is a little bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I got to make sure that I'm, you know, just like yourself, you have to pull that energy to them for them to pull it to you. So, which is good. Uh, so what was the, without saying the name of the, the event, because I don't want to embarrass them, what was the worst location event that you had let's say that let's just say the location of the worst place that you were like not really i never I went to none of them that was really bad some of them were good actually okay. majority of them the politician right there <laughs> the politician right there because you heard the words he said they were actually all good some of them were good that means that there was one or two that wasn't that great but he doesn't want to say that's a politician talk that's a politician talk right there <laughs> That's a polite way to say it, you know. Hey, some of them were tens, you know, <laughs> which is good. I, I like, I like, you know, stuff like that when you have fun on the on the stage. But do you do better with a partner 
No. Or group. Or by yourself. I just I feel like I'm doing good with by myself because like I could probably know that that they're actually cheering at me and mm -hmm. not like actually just like cheering to the crowd and then after that I'll just be like okay I'm good mm -hmm. and, or when I'm doing it by myself they just be like <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, like all confused and then after that I just go like that's what I like to see if I actually improving or I'm just doing good like good. Oh okay. Do you ever think about uh, dancing with a partner? Sometimes I actually do. Wise? I actually did all um, with the team, and then after that I started to like do it with the girl, and then after that she eventually left. So then after that I had to do it with another. Were you heartbroken when she left? You missed mm -hmm. her. <laughs> <laughs> I just messed with you. Hey, we are about to take a little, uh, quick commercial break, and we, we, he's gonna be staying here for the rest of the show. So we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We're gonna see what he got. Um, we're gonna dance for you. Maybe he'll teach me a little one-two thing here that we can do. Um, and then we're going to be speaking a little bit more about him and about Halloween treats. So I know Halloween you like, right? You like Halloween? What do you dress as? Um, this is going to be really weird to say, but um, do you watch Stranger Things? Yeah. Um, did you watch the third season? No, not yet. No, don't even... Yep, so that's what I'm okay, don't, uh, okay, don't blow it for me because I'm, you know, <laughs> but I, I've been watching. I, at first, I didn't really want to watch it, and then I, I seen three episodes of the first season on Netflix, so I was like... I gotta watch the rest of the thing. It was, um, it was interesting. Do you know the, char the character with the mullet, um, Steve Harrington? Steve. Oh, yeah, I'm dressing up as him. That, that is kind of weird season. because it's like a regular clothes guy. Yeah, that's so. what I'm dressing up as the third season because it's really unique and it just came out. Yeah, true. True. Hopefully somebody can get it. Get the, uh, that's how you know who, who's in, into these uh, characters and stuff. I don't know. La last year I just wore a big clown tie. That's it. And I call myself the clown host. I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I was hosting an event, so I couldn't really, like, wear uh, a lot of makeup and stuff like that. But this year, I don't think we, we are, right? No, we, we have the 44 precinct again this year. So I, maybe I wear... Uh, a, Usually, uh, I always go there. The 44 precinct? Yeah. Yeah, we, we're there. They got the Halloween uh, haunted house. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's we're inside of the precinct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we were there last year. We're going to be again... Uh, this year, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. We we'll dress like something. I don't know. Did you ever uh, dress with your parents? Um, one year. One it year? wasn't my mom. What 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 y'all guys were? Oh, uh, we were really something. I was Spider Man, and she was dressing up as like a witch. Oh, but I'm like like nothing like. Like that was like, like a thing thing. Yeah. Like the Incredibles, or you know, no. you were Spider Man, and she was a uh, 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 what's that girl's name? Um. Wait, His um, girlfriend? MJ. MJ. <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. Um, no. I think that was pretty cool. You know, I want to see the adults do something like that. If you're an adult or, you know, like, um, husband and wife or mate, and y'all dress like that, send us a picture. You I actually see that. seen it before. You seen somebody like yeah, that? Yeah, it was a Fortnite one. There was a, um, a whole bunch of people dressing up as Fortnite, but instead, it was with the, um, with the, the, the dad, with the little kids. Yeah. I just seen one online where the wife had a uh, pitch um, her clothes and then she has a sign saying hashtag um, filter and then the husband who was wearing a wig ugly with the beard talking about hashtag without filter <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cute but uh, yeah no filter right uh, but we're going to be right back a little more with Joshua and he's going to be performing when we come back so don't go nowhere stay tuned and enjoy this little uh, song that we're going to be playing I'm Charles Aloman, this is Joshua. He's got me, he's guilty of loving me in the first degree. I don't want to give him all I've got, I've got. She's so fake. She's such a slut. You can see the layers on Look her face. Look at her chicken legs. <laughs> oh my god. How short is that skirt? <laughs> I can't believe she'd even put that on. <laughs> is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. 
How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. <laughs> You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. <laughs> I got an idea past this. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, he killed it. And he killed it? 
So the mano colon, you know what I'm saying, if you're on the stage and you need somebody to dance for you, to dance on your song, you got Joshua right here, you know? You got to check out his uh, managers, his parents, <laughs> and check them out. So uh, real quick before we go back to the other side of the other studio and sit down, um, you know, with, with the nice curtain, the red curtains right now. Um, you want to show me a little something, something? All right, let, let, me, let me show you what I got. Don't laugh. Hit me, hit me one time. <laughs> Oh, I'm paused, that's it. <laughs> this is all I got, this is all I got. Alright, there we go, there we go, that was a good one, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> that was a little old school, little, uh, 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 uh. I saw y'all look good when I'm dancing by myself, but as soon as I grab that partner, I'm tripping and falling all over the place. I never really got to get that side side dance off. So show me a real quick where, where I can look good. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, let's get on his mic. I, I want to make sure people that don't know how to dance either. But I know I'm not the only one, ladies and gentlemen. So let me, let me mic him up here real quick. Bam. Put this in the back, and we good. So, uh, can you hear me? Uh, can I hear you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so first, real quick. what you have to do is put your right foot in the front. Heel or the toe? Um, toe. So? And then after that, you put your left foot in front, forward. Okay. And then after that, you put the right arm um, right here, then put it back. And then after that, the other back. And then after that, uh, um, then boom. So, yeah. forward, forward, back, back, back. And what forward. you do with your hands like that? Forward, forward, forward boom, back. Hit me that music, hit me that music right there. I think I got that little forward, forward, back. Don't go, don't go overboard now, ready? Let's go, let's go. Ready? Hey, one, two, three. Oh, oh. See, I didn't hit the, the back here, right? All right, all right. It sounds like a video game right there. No, no, forward, forward, back, 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 forward. All right, go. It was amazing. I like that little, and then the shimmy. Give me, give me a little shimmy thing right there. Uh. It was like, whoo, whoo. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, everything else is shaking, but the shoulders. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I stick to my little merengues and salsas and stuff. I, the salsas I keep it with him. I do the bachata and the merengue. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good. <laughs> with that, with the twirling and the spinning and stuff like that. I, I can never get the size. I don't know why. I just look good by myself, though. I play it off, you know? I, I say, just like you, you got to play it off with the Spanish accent, I play it off with the Saisa accent. I just do this. Mm, mm. And then as soon as somebody say, you want to dance? I'll be like, nah, I got tired. Back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to take like a good 20, 30 second break. We're gonna, we got to walk to the other side, you know what I'm saying, to the other studio, sit back down. And I want to talk about Josh, Joshua, he's going to be doing a lot of uh, events coming up and a couple of projects. He's got me, I'm talk about that. he's guilty right of loving me enough.
camino Cantando, riendo siempre Y así yo sabré olvidar Sabré olvidar, mujer Y yo Sabré olvidar Ay, 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 ay show again joshua was doing a little shimmy shimmy things with the uh hermano colognes and you met the hermano colognes at one time was that well uh, orchard beach i think yeah, that, that picture was, was? Orchard beach. wow so uh, and you, you probably never even knew they were the real old sites no all i knew was that, them, that that they were singing salsa but i was yeah. i was so confused like why is my dad taking a picture with these people yeah. <laughs> i was really confused so. yeah they, they are uh, famous uh salsa singers you know, so I used to come home. My mom used to be listening to their to their music and stuff like that. So, but uh, again, real quick, what are the projects you got going on now? Um, so the projects that I have been working on is the upcoming movie In the Heights coming out in 2020. And mm. huge shout out to Eddie Torres Jr. because he was the one that actually invited me to the um, auditions. And then after that, when I was actually doing the auditions. They, that I actually made it, and he was like really proud of me and stuff. So okay. that's why I want to give that shout out to our uh, What part are you playing? Um, the part that I'm 
playing is um, a background dancer, or or <laughs> basically what I'm playing is myself because I'm just <laughs> dancing. And then and I'm just dancing in like two scenes, and they're both salsa. Oh, okay. And so it's like really really fun. It's gonna, it's gonna be fun filming it. Oh, did you film it already? Uh, yeah, I already filmed it. Oh, already. was it fun? Yep. Oh my God, you can imagine with all the cameras and you got to do a couple shots and was there bloopers? Um, not really. Not, not really. I don't know. <laughs> she was like, I don't know. I'm just a dancer. <laughs> That's their problem. <laughs> I'm not the director. <laughs> but it's it's good, you know. Uh, um, let them know where your Instagram, uh, where they can find you and everything. So where my Instagram is is actually um. Uh, Josh underscore G underscore O nine underscore dancer. Okay. You got that? If you didn't get that, go to the LVM show dot com uh, and then click on the show's episode. It has all his information there too uh, as well. Uh, so check them out. I know if you see pictures of him on Facebook, it's his parents, so check them out as well. If you want to book him somewhere, you want to have him dancing for you in your music videos, Ask the mother or the father, or uh, inbox us, and we get you their information for them to uh, contact you. Cause he he does everything. He dances to every type of music. You you know. I heard the divorce parties are, are being big right now. He can dance there too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know. If you're thinking about having a child, he can dance there too. Don't worry about it. You know what? Hey. Hey, who knows? Eh? Maybe they're giving birth and you want to do a little shimmy shimmy to help the lady out. You know? <laughs> but hey, just book them. But on a serious note, uh, I love to see kids doing positive things, so keep it up. You know, I'm very happy to see, especially a Latin youth, doing something for uh, themselves and not asking for it, you know, going out there and, and grabbing it, which is good. So, uh, you know, we're running out of time, correct? Or we. Oh, we have five minutes. So, real quick, on five minutes, um, for, we were talking about Halloween. What, what's your favorite treat My Halloween? My favorite treat is uh, probably like um, uh, bubble gum. Like bubble, bubble gum is really good for me. I like the bubble gum that they Do have. Do you ever make uh, Halloween snacks? No. All right. I'm, I'm a, I was going to show you guys how to do it, but I'm just going to explain it with what's called the apple mouth. Okay, you take an apple, red or green, it doesn't really matter, you slice it in half, and then you slice it again where it's about an inch, an inch apple. So make both of them the same. Make sure they round it. Then you take peanut butter and you smack oh, the peanut butter in the bottom. I, I know. It's just to make it look good. I don't really like peanut butter. <laughs> um, he's allergic to peanut butter. So you can use, there's another one that I'm going to say, but you can use peanut butter or jelly. Okay, but if you use a jelly, try to use more uh, mixture of the red and gray, because this way when you finish, it looks like blood coming down. And it's Halloween, so we're supposed to do that. Then you take the marshmallows and you squeeze it into the jelly or the peanut butter, and you take the second half of the apple and you put it together, and you wind up with a mouth that looks like it has teeth. So it's cool. Then the peanut butter looks like it's a, the gum, but if you use jelly, like I said, red or Grape, more red than the the grape, and it'll look like blood coming down, and it'll look, you know, and it's a little treat that you can give kids. So, uh, another one you can do is, um, you like chicken nuggets? Yeah. All right. Well, you take the chicken nuggets, you dip them into uh, either white chocolate or some people use mayonnaise. I don't know why, but you dip it into the white chocolate. Then, yeah, they go they. Try it, try it, try it. You, you never know. They're, don't knock it until you try it. You know what I'm saying? Um, or, or you can use white um, color, uh, food coloring. Mm. Put it on, and then you use a little uh, chocolate dots, and you have a ghost. Ooh. Ghost nuggets. So, you know, these are little things that you can do that's around your house uh, to make some food. That's another one that you can use the big marshmallows and take the uh, chocolate dots, put it, or you can use um, what's that? Chocolate chips, not the chip, the the chip chips, but the round ones that they melt, that they supposed to melt. But you use them and you put them down as the eyes and the mouth, and then you have a ghost marshmallow. Cool. So little treats that you could, little treats that you guys can do. Uh, I might be showing not on my show, but on my uh, page or something how to do a spider cake. 
Mm. You know, it's like n not the cake itself is spider, but the the way it comes out with the frosting and the design. Put it like this: I'm going to be using vanilla uh, frosting, some chocolate frosting, gum drops, and licorice. And I'm going to show you how all that becomes a spider web on the, on a cake. So, uh, and costumes. You ever made your own costume? Oh, I was close to, but we didn't do it after. Because, like, I was thinking of dressing up as the kid from Descendants that had just passed away. May he rest his soul. But, yeah. um... Yeah, from and the Freckles guy. I yeah. was going to dress up as him, and uh, we had the shorts, but we didn't eventually cut them and make them. The pants and the, the jacket and stuff, so okay. that's why we didn't do it. And then after that, we just found like uh, the Spider Man one. That's how I just found Sure. Uh, you guys that are listening, comment below what was the weirdest costume that your parents made you. My mom just put me one time a coat, right? I had a, I had a cheap skin, not a sheep skin, I had a cheap skin back in the days. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She put me a bandana and took her lipstick and put it like this and called me an Indian. That's it. Better back away. I go outside. Go get some. <laughs> that was like when I was young. I was like, wow, really? But you know, we didn't have that much money to be wasting on costumes. And I guess that's when I started learning how to do treats and make it look like it's scary and stuff like that with stuff that I have around the house. So uh, those are little good things that you can probably do uh, instead of um, giving out, you know, candy and stuff like that. Bad candies. But you know. Uh, checking the candies and everything you're supposed to check them but you know that's a myth no yeah it's a myth um there was no actual events that anybody poisoned the kid with candy what there was actually a myth that's just a scary thing but do not stop checking your candy because you never know when that one day it is yep, but it, is it's, it's, it's a myth like uh the scariest myth you ever heard of a scariest myth what was it called it uh Urban legends? No. Ooh, the scary urban legends of Halloween. Never heard of it in my life. No, there's one, if you say Candyman three times in the mirror, stuff like that. Those are little... Oh, yeah, I heard of that one. Yeah, you know, those are little scary myths. Um, do you know why it makes it scary? Why? Because the unknown. Um, your brain starts trying to calculate and, and figure out what is really going on, and it never have it that it gets scarier and scarier and that's why the scary movies play the music without the music you ain't gonna be scared yeah that's why I want that's why I want for a movie that if that when the movie comes down like when the music comes on like what your favorite, what, what's your favorite horror movie that you watched so far um child's play child's play what the, the original yeah oh okay I was, I was gonna say because the, the the new one was not that scary the the first one okay I can see it you know, first child play. Mines, of course, I'm old school. I gotta go with Exorcist. I, I gotta go with that. I gotta go with that one. That was the most. Goonies count as a the what? horror movie? Goonies? Nah, no, man. The Goonies was a good movie. That was fun. I love that good movie, Goonies. Oh man, I love that movie. I watch a lot of old movies. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't watch The Exorcist. That's scary. Yeah. That's scary. Woo! That's scary. Hey, tell your parents. Do you want to watch The Exorcist? And they probably tell you no. It'd be like, man, you you wait till you till you move out the house, you, because that movie came out. That I think all the Latin people was like, no, you're not watching that in my house. You're not bringing that in the, in here and all that old uh, evil mojo. Like it's a movie. No, 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 no. Don't know I've been. Ooh, my, my grandmother didn't even want to watch that. That's how scary that movie is. I'm telling you. Uh, oh, so we got one minute. But anyway, let us know what your scariest movies and your weirdest costume that you ever had. Uh, I, I would like to know, and then um, I'll check the Facebook and I'll comment myself as much as possible. But uh, again, Joshua, thank you for um, you know spending some time with me today and showing the world what you can do. So check him out again on uh, all his uh, events. So when that movie's coming out again? Uh, June 21st, I think. And when is it going to come out? What platform? Uh, movie, like all movie theaters. Oh. <laughs> Movie theaters. I think we're gonna have to do a, a movie premiere and just like go to 161st and bum rush that movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to see Josh. After that, we out. <laughs> but like, we waiting, we waiting. But that's good. Congratulations. Um, I wish you all the best and everything else that's coming. Anything that we can do, let us know. You know, we can. And you ever want to come back to the show? Just hit us up and be like, hey, I want to come back just to have fun. 
You're always welcome. All right? But again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joshua. Check him out on his uh, Instagram. And check out his new movie coming out and everything else. So. I also have one more shout out as well. Oh, go ahead. Shout it out. Um, but, but I'm going to give my second shout out to my dance, my new dance teacher right now, Betsy. And she's um like directing Skyfall. And um, now I'm a part of the team. And that now I haven't debuted with them yet. But it's just coming really, really soon. And I'm about to debut with them. Oh, okay. Are you doing any con uh, contests or something like that? Well, they did get a contest and they got first. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, if you are a child and you're watching and you're not doing nothing, what the heck are you doing then? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Do something. You know what I'm saying? We have Teen View. We have teenage talk shows. We have kids dancing. So there are things to do out there. You just got to look and find it. So, you know, if you haven't found it, don't worry, because, you know, something like Joshua, Joshua just fell into loving um, dancing, you know? So he got lucky. But uh, anyway, this is the LDM Show. We're going to be back next week with uh, a Filipino singer. Hopefully, she'll be here. But, you know, you never know with live talk shows. So, but anyway, check us out and check my show. Uh, Wow, which one is all? Oh, speak out <laughs> on the LDM radio station. It's not for, uh, excuse my, my, my language, but it's not for the sissies because I don't care what you think and all the new words you want to put. I'm just telling you what I think about politics and everything like that. So check that out on Fridays and uh, check out the wrestling talk. So we'll be back next week. See you. I'm going to probably check it out and a little bit with uh, all the pictures. See you next week.